Hello everyone, my name is Danny and I'm here for the British Library. So thank you for coming to join us. Now I want to have a look and see who's watching from home. So I'm going to take out my binoculars. I'm going to have a look and see. I can see Zoha. I can see Adam and Sam and Max and Amina and Wahid and Maya and Tolu and Megan and I can see you. So thank you for coming to join me. Now today we're going to have a fairy tale adventure and on the British Library website there are links to some collections for fairy tales. Also there'll be some links for some craft activities that maybe afterwards you can get a bit crafty. I'll tell you more about those at the end. For now let's get ready to have a story adventure. We need to warm ourselves up so let's do some claps. Can you give your hands a bit of a rub? Can you show me a fast clap? Really, really fast, really, really fast. Brilliant. Can you show me a slow clap? Like you're in slow motion. Fantastic. Can you show me a nose clap? And a head clap? And an ear clap? And now can you make up your own clap? You might clap on a different part of your body. You might do a marshmallow clap. I don't mind. Any idea is good. And I'll watch. Ready to show me your clap? One, two, three. Show me. Wow, look at all those claps. They're fantastic. Well done, you. Now we've warmed up. Let's jump inside our story. Now our story comes from a fairy tale. It might be a fairy tale you know, but what we've done is we've shaken it up, shaken it up. We've turned it on its side, so we've changed it. You might know some of the characters, but it's a little bit different. So look out for the differences. Are we ready? Let's go. Put on your listening ears. Wiggle those eyes. And let's begin the story. This is a story about a little girl who loved to wear red. In fact, she liked it so much, they called her Little Red. One day she got a riding hood and her name became Little Red Riding Hood. That's right. So our story is about her and a wolf. Not a scary wolf, but a nice wolf. A hungry wolf. One day Little Red Riding Hood was in the woods by her house playing with her friends. There was Mouse, squeak, 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 squeak. Let me hear Mouse. Squeak, 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 squeak. Good. There was Fox. And let me see Fox sniffing. <laughs> Very good. And there was Bear. Bear used to say, I love honey. What did Bear say? I love honey. Good. In fact, Bear loved honey so much that he made his own. From the bees buzzing around the trees in the wood. But he made too much to eat, so he would give it to his friends. One day, oh, a little red riding hood, I've got you some. Honey, I made it myself. <laughs> you can take it home to your family. Little Red Riding Hood was so delighted. She took the honey and as she was taking it home, she heard a call. Little Red, Little Red. It sounded like her dad and it sounded important. Little Red Riding Hood ran home and when she got there, she heard some sad news. Her grandma was... Poorly. Achoo! 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 And 
her family wanted Little Red to take a basket full of lovely things to cheer her up. I wonder what you would put in a basket to cheer someone up? Hmm, I wonder. Little Red Riding Hood looked around. She found a banana, Grandma's favourite. She found some, oh, a delicious piece of bread. And oh, just the other day, Little Red Riding Hood had drawn a picture of her and her grandma. So that went in too. There was space for just one more thing. Hmm, the honey. There's honey. Oh, she could imagine that Grandma would find that very yummy. So in it went. And off went Little Red Riding Hood through the wood. Her family telling her, be careful of that wolf, the one with the big eyes and the big ears and the great big teeth. Hmm. And Little Red said she would. As she walked along, she waved to her friends, Mouse, squeak, squeak, and Fox, <laughs> and Bear. What does Bear say? I love honey. As she walked past her animal friends, someone was listening. As she told them that she was on her way to her grandma's house on the other side of the wood. Wolf was hungry. Wolf loved the sounds. The smell of Little Red Riding Hood's basket. <gasps> and Wolf wanted some of that. So he began to run. <coughs> as fast as he could. To the other side of the wood where Grandma lived. When Wolf got there, the door was already open. <coughs> he pushed it open with his paw and stepped inside. <laughs> there was no sign of Granny, but he could hear the shower running. She must be in the bathroom. He carried on looking, trying to find something, anything to eat, when through the wood came the sound of singing. La la la, I'm after Granny, to give her a basket of lovely things. It was Little Red Riding Hood. And she got to the house and she pushed open the door and crept inside. Granny! Oh, Grandma! Grandma wasn't there. However, the wolf had leapt into action. Scared that Little Red Riding Hood would be scared of him, he jumped into Grandma's bed and put on her hat to try to disguise himself. Little Red Riding Hood went over to Granny and... <gasps> hmm... Granny, um, what big eyes you have, she said. Oh, the better to see you with, my dear, said Wolf. Hmm, Granny, um, what big ears you have? Uh, uh, oh, the better to hear you with, my dear. Granny, um, uh, what big teeth you have? And at that moment, when Little Red Riding Hood thought that the wolf was going to jump up and eat her, he instead jumped out of bed, jumped onto her lap and began to howl. Oh, I'm so hungry, he said in a very sad voice. At that moment, Granny came in from the shower and she began to scream. Oh, oh, a wolf, a wolf. And Little Red Riding Hood began to run around the kitchen. Woo, woo, woo. And Wolf began to howl, oh! And it was very loud and very crazy until everything stopped. And Little Red Riding Hood put on her thinking face. Hmm. And she realised that although Wolf had big eyes and big ears and big teeth, Wolf wasn't scary at all and just wanted some food because he was so hungry. So Little Red Riding Hood asked Wolf and Granny to sit around the table and 
and they decided to share what was in the basket. Oh, <laughs> they shared the banana. <laughs> For me, mm. oh, here we are, Wolf. Some nice banana. Ooh, delicious. They shared the bread, Granny. For you, ah, there we are. And for you there, oh, here we are, Wolf. Mm, delicious. Mm. And they shared Bear's sticky honey. And they had a lovely afternoon sharing food. And from that day forward, Granny and Little Red Riding Hood and the mouse, squeak, squeak, and the fox, and the bear, I love honey, were no longer scared of the wolf with the big eyes and the big ears and the big teeth. Who wasn't really scary at all, was just a little hungry. And that brings us to the end of a slightly different Little Red Riding Hood. Thank you for being brilliant listeners and brilliant helpers. Thank you for helping me with the story. Now, maybe you'd like to make up your own fairy tale. Maybe you'd like to follow our craft and make yourself a riding hood or maybe a wolf mask. Maybe you can have your own picnic, maybe with your toys. Whatever you do, we hope you have a wonderful time using your imagination. Thank you for listening. And me and everyone at the British Library hope you are well and we hope to see you again soon. Goodbye. Give me a wave. Bye-bye. <laughs>